Hi, this is Ram at Live Minded Video. In today's tutorial, I'll be showing you two ways that you can highlight your mouse cursor. One of them requires to download a cursor file into Windows. The other one is my absolute favorite, and that'll be to download a tool from a professor's website. Let's take a look. Here I am on my Windows desktop. The first thing we need to do is type the words mouse in our search bar. This will bring up mouse settings. Click on that. Now we'll go ahead and click on additional mouse settings. That'll bring up a new window. Then we click on pointers. In this window, we'll notice all the default window cursors. If we click on the none, we'll see we can change it to black or inverted. But what's missing here is the highlight or halo cursor. Now there are many different websites that give you a cursor file. You can consider a cursor file a PNG or JPEG. In this case, we'll go ahead to a website called Real World Graphic Cursor. Here we are on the website, which I'll put in the link below, realworlddesign.com. That's rw-designer.com. Now I can go ahead and create my own images, but the best part of the site is that there's already ones created for you. I'll go ahead and click on Real World Cursor Editor, go to Gallery, and here we'll see an unbelievable amount of options you can choose from. Lego cursors, Saul Goodman icon cursors, but let's not get carried away. All we really need is to see our cursor highlight or halo. So I'll type that in the search icon bar and click search. And here we'll have different types of halo effects for our cursor. And I'll go ahead and change from lime green to blue. I'll go ahead and click on the highlight blue. I can try the traditional highlight yellow, but I do like the blue one, so I'll click on that. And we'll go ahead and download. This will go straight to my desktop, and I'll open it from there. Okay, here's my downloader file. I'll go ahead and right click it, and extract all into a folder I created on my desktop called Cursor. Cursor files and I'll go ahead and download it to there, extract. I've opened up the cursor files and you see a lot of options here. The only one I'm concerned about is the normal select. So now let's go back to our Windows default menu, back to mouse properties. Now we wanna change the normal select cursor, so we'll go ahead and click browse, and we'll browse to our desktop and the folder which I called cursor. Here it is, cursor files. We scroll down to normal select, hit open, and as you can see, there is our halo cursor blue, and all we need to do from here is click apply. There you have it. The blue halo, which is what we wanted to see, is one of our options here in our mouse properties. Just go ahead and click OK, and there you have our blue halo or cursor ready to use. That was the first technique on how you can apply a halo around your cursor using Windows. Next, I wanna show you an application of some software that you can download. Once again, it's free that gives you more control and functionality with your cursor highlighter. We scroll down from the site and look for cursor highlighter version 2.2 and click on the link. Okay, for easy viewing, I put it on my desktop called Cursor Highlighter. Double click, right then and there, we see the mouse halo effect. Now, as you can see on your desktop, on your taskbar, the tool is actually inserted on your taskbar. You just go ahead and click on it and it'll show you the cursor highlighter. This professor is an absolute genius and you'll see the link below where you can download this tool because not only does it show immediately, but you can actually right click and go to change the picture of the cursor to a pen or make it a focus. If I show you the pen icon cursor, this could be great for presentations or I can change it to cursor focus, which shows a circle and everything else around it is shaded except for the middle of the circle and we can go to settings as well. And here's where the fun begins. I'll go ahead and shut that off because this is where the functionality of this tool really shines. 
by changing the color or even the size and width. Here, if I wanna make the circle or halo bigger or wider, I'll go ahead and change this to 500 and the height to 500. And this is just amazing how you can really control the functionality of this tool. Let's go ahead and change this color to let's say green and hit okay. We can also create hotkeys as well. And I can show you in a different video if you'd like to see that as well. Let's change this back to the default and my highlight color back to let's say blue and hit done. Thank you for joining us in today's tutorial and I'll see you in the next one.